it's an exciting time to be an Alabama fan right now because the summer enrollees are hitting Tuscaloosa, and we got some great players about to hit the field tie. So, man, there are so many players we need to get into today, but I'm very glad we chose to start with Amari and the Black. Genuinely one of the most intriguing prospects in all of the nation. For my recruiting heads out there, you'll remember this was a guy who was rated in the thousands coming out at one point in high school, and he saw a monumental rise through the recruiting rankings, and deservedly so. Finished out as a four-star, top 300 player in the nation. So we're talking meteoric rise. I thought he could even go a little bit higher. I think if he would have really hit the scene, really got that notoriety his sophomore year, we'd be talking about a five-star. I digress because I have no way to prove that except by his play. Do me this kindness, everybody watching this video. Turn on the film of Mamari Black. Turn on the highlights. This is an individual Nick Saban said could be incredible at defense. This is someone he said who could be incredible at offense, but I have good news for you, Tide Faithful. He's coming into a position we desperately need, the tight end position, and he can fit that Jalel Billingsley mold so many of us were excited for last season. He's got supreme athleticism, and if he can learn how to block and do that consistently, he is a mismatch through and through. And for Bryce, one thing I always say, Joey, you want easy offense? If our offensive line isn't working the way we'd like, tight ends, running backs. Your quarterback's two best friends at generating easy offense that can really make it difficult for a defense. So I love Nablack. Speaking of best friends, Brian Kelly's best friend, Danny Lewis, is going to be here in Tuscaloosa this week. What do we expect from Danny Lewis? <laughs> Look, once again, another tight end. Alabama has four tight ends this cycle. I could not be more excited about that. Elijah Brown enrolled in the spring. Very happy about that. I was over the moon that we got in one of those tight ends to early enroll. We got Amari Black coming in during the summer, but we also have Danny Lewis, the tight end out of Louisiana, who so many people know because of that TikTok that went viral between he and Brian Kelly. Ultimately, right after that, he said, enough is enough. I'm picking Alabama. Danny Lewis is someone, do not let the stars fool you. I always say this, don't look at a three-star and think they're not going to play because we have a five-star. Josh Jacobs was a three-star, and Josh Jacobs is one of the better running backs Alabama has had over the past few years. When you talk about usage relative to what he did in production, unbelievable. So a three-star can be great, and Nick Saban loves this three-star. And ladies and gentlemen, that's all that matters. I mean, you have the master at being able to look at a player and say, this is someone who will develop, this is someone who will work. And what Nick Saban said about Danny Lewis, something Joey and I talked about right before we hit record that I love so much, he said, hey, this kid can block, but don't get it twisted. He is a very dangerous route runner, very dangerous athlete. He likened him to Cameron Latou. And for a team that may have some blocking woes, it's great to get in a tight end that has that blocking ability. Very excited about the addition of Danny Lewis as well. And we can't forget about Miles Kitchelman. The kid coming in from community college, one of the top community college talents out there in terms of what he can do. Unbelievable upside. Didn't get to see the field as much due to injury, but very talented prospect. Alabama really looking good in the tight end department as long as everybody can develop. We're very, very excited. About I am. Earl. You don't know who I'm about to talk about. I don't care. This is a great summer enrollee class, Joey, genuinely. But one individual... Earl Little Jr. coming in. We cannot wait to see what this kid is going to do. Talk about Earl Little Jr. and how he's going to dominate the defense. Uh, most other years, I would be making a, a pretty hard case that I think this kid could start early. This year is a little bit different, Joey, simply because you look at Alabama's secondary, they get to return a lot of veteran presence. They get to return a lot of experience and a lot of talent. I mean, that secondary could be great for Alabama. But don't be surprised if you see a little bit of Earl Little. Earl Little is someone who played at a great high school, has gotten great coaching, and now comes into the Crimson Tide. He stands six foot. I think he might even be a little bit taller than that. 24-7 sports has him at, I think, at like six foot, 190, 185 the last time I looked. I think he might be a bit bigger than that, man. I've seen pictures of him standing next to some other guys. He is well-built, very athletic, and what I love, Joey, 
we always talk about if a guy can hit their ceiling, if a guy can develop. But one of the things we very seldom talk about that really is a disservice, and I find myself not doing it as much as I need to, where's a guy's floor, right? We talk about the ceiling, but where is your floor? And for Earl Little, I thought that was one of the safest defensive back prospects in all of the nation last cycle. I, quite frankly, was hard-pressed to figure out how he wasn't a five-star. Every cycle, I have about five to ten players I make this argument for. Earl Little has won this past cycle. I don't know how he wasn't a five-star, but he is very, very skilled, very well coached, and he's got the ability to play multiple positions in a secondary, something Saban loves. So Earl Little really is someone who's excited the fan base, and for good reason. I think he's someone a lot of people are going to be clamoring to see, and I'm very excited to see him. So we just got done talking about Earl Little. That's defense. Let's keep it in the spirit of defense. Talk about Jake Pope. Three-star safety, but I really like Jake Pope, Joey. This is someone who offensively at the high school level, very dangerous. Defensively, very dangerous. But I love when these guys in high school are playing the ball both ways, especially for your safeties and your defensive backs. They get a greater understanding of what a wide receiver wants to do to be successful. And I get it. I get it. I'm not saying that that translates 100% to the college game. We might as well be talking about two different sports in between high school football and college football. But inevitably, it gives him some sort of insight. I love that. And one of the interesting things is he's actually teammates of another enrollee that Alabama is expecting this summer, an offensive guy. And what better transition than to get us over to the offensive side of the ball? He's the teammate of Isaiah Bond. And Joey, you can't teach speed. You cannot teach speed. And that's something Alabama has in abundance coming in at the wide receiver department. Isaiah Bond, Shaz Preston, Kobe Prentice, all very dangerous talents. If we start with Isaiah Bond, you could make a track team centered around Isaiah Bond. He is going to be tough to keep off the field. He can run really good routes, and that's something that he's actually talked about on Twitter that he's really looking to improve on, and he's put in the work. And if he can continue that, very dangerous prospect, not only in long speed, but in burst and in run after catch. Kobe Prentice is much the same. If I'm talking Bond and Prentice, these are two guys that will probably start off on the inside, but don't be surprised if you see them on the outside. I truly do believe they have that ability. And Shaz Preston, there was a guy the other day, Joey, who likened Shaz Preston to a John Mechie. And if Alabama can keep a John Mechie every year, sign me up. I don't think fans appreciate how good Mechie was, man. He was a hair away from 1,000 yards the previous season, eclipsed 1,000 this season. I mean, he was so good in every area. He ran good routes. He was physical. He, there was nothing Mechie didn't do for us. And if we can get a guy that can mirror that in terms of production, very excited about that. The last two areas we need to talk about, offensive line and running back. Offensive line, you have Elijah Pritchett coming in. That's an area most Alabama fans are really curious about. There's also the transfer Tyler Steen coming in, but we're focused on recruiting specifically in this video. Pritchett is someone who may have been able to push had he enrolled early. Unfortunately, that's not the case, but inevitably he can add in valuable depth. And then Emmanuel Henderson, the running back, is intriguing because he is rated as an athlete depending on where you look, depending on which recruiting service. He can play several different positions, Joey. He has got a very deep skill set, and I am really excited to see what he can do. Now, I did do a little bit of a mess up in this. I forgot one player that we need to circle back to, and that's a defensive lineman, Isaiah Hastings. Now, Joey, I do want to hear from you on this, because if I'm wondering, and if I'm sitting here thinking, what are my concerns for Alabama's defense? I think concern is a strong word, but I am very curious as to what that defensive interior is going to look like. I know what, what Anderson and Dallas are going to do, but what are your thoughts on the interior? They have to try and replace quite a bit of production. I mean, nine and a half sacks from the interior. Well, you know, Alabama is known for the rotation, but bottom line is somebody's going to have to step up. Yeah, no doubt. And that's kind of been where I've been, man. I I'm not worried. I think worried is a very strong word. Byron Young has got the ability. If he can put it together, he can do some things. Alabama's got some pieces, but what a better way than to sure up your defensive line than by getting an Isaiah Hastings, a top 300 player in all of high school football, to come in, join that add in depth. Iron sharpens iron. We know this. Saban talks about this. Saban preaches this. Getting in a top 300 
player as a depth piece. I mean, Joey, most other colleges, if they get an Isaiah Hastings, they're booking it right now. Starter, day one. That's the depth Alabama has and how good they've been in recruiting. So this summer enrollee class offers a lot in terms of answering questions we as fans may have. What's the wide receiver room going to look like? Well, we got in three wide receivers over the summer to add on to the two we got early enrolling. And they all have speed. That answers a lot. Tight end is a need. Well, we just signed four tight ends. You like some defensive backs? Earl Little Jr. is one of the best defensive back prospects in that past cycle. Don't know how he wasn't a five-star. You get an offensive lineman. You get a running back. A running back who was a five-star running back all the way through. This is a great, great list. And I think sometimes we lose sight of it because Alabama may not have been the number one class in the nation. But don't lose sight of how talented this group is. Well... You heard it here first on the CTS Sports Room. Now we got our man Ty Hayes. You may know him from the CTS Sports Room, but he's got the best sports channel on YouTube right now. It's around the table sports. Ty, please tell everybody where we can find you. Yeah, I've got I've got a YouTube channel where I talk about college football and talk about recruiting. We talk about schematics. We have people on. It's a good time, and I'd love y'all to join that community. Awesome thing. Uh, it's around the table sports. I pretty much will do college football content daily. And I just think it's a whole lot of fun. It's great being here as well, Joey. Will somebody shut that dog up? You heard that dog the whole time? So when you go to Around the Table Sports and hit the subscribe, button come right back over here to the cts sports room hit that subscribe button like this video we got a lot of great content this is the number one sort well compared to around the table sports number two source for college football and remember guys win or lose hey ty yes sir what does auburn football and amber heard got the got in common I have no idea. In crunch time, they both shit the bed and we are out. <laughs> that trial has been a blessing. 